What up, it's your boy Aki, checking in here with another video. So right now I'm actually on my way to one of the properties that I bought on auction.com. Just doing a really quick walkthrough, seeing what work there needs to be done, you know, what downfalls it has, um, what the pros are, because really with this deal, we had to buy the site and sing. The only reason why uh, I was confident in buying it is because it was for uh, 60 cents on the dollar of what it could sell on, on the retail market. Um, I've also did a hotel in the area pretty recently and the property that I had was absolutely uh, in, in, uh, in probably as rough shape as it can be, uh, practically demo shape. So, you know, if this property is anything better than that, you know, obviously it had people living in it. Um, if it's anything better than that, then I know that I'll be able to make a, a pretty decent profit. So let me just give you the numbers real quick. So I actually bought this property for $105,000 cash and the resale value on this um, full retail is about 165. So I'm thinking if it's in livable condition, you know, has up-to-date electric, um, even if it needs a small clean out that could take a couple thousand bucks, you know, 1500 to 2000 bucks, um, probably could do something like a, a free yard sale, you know, a couple of years ago. Um, that's what I pretty much use to clear out houses. Um, and what that does is it pretty much uh, gets stuff out of the house pretty, pretty uh, efficiently. You know, people love, you know, uh, going to those type of things because pretty much people yard sale on Saturdays and what that does is pretty much lets people take the stuff for free, clears it out for me, which is gonna be really good. And then it also allows you to tell people what you do. You know, there the people are like, why are you giving this stuff away for free? Well, I'm giving it away for free because I'm actually in the process of flipping this house, it turns into a conversation, and who knows, might even get another lead out of it. So that's what I'm pretty much doing right now, heading up here, uh, seeing uh, what the condition is. So I'm gonna take you guys with me. Uh, let me get, let me know uh, in the comment box below if uh, you think this is something that you know should be held on to and uh, rehabbed. Personally, I don't like doing the rehab unless it's a lot of meat on the bone. Uh, the majority of the profits, a lot of times I've seen, if you're able to buy the deal, if you're able to buy the deal um, and close on it and resell it, especially in a market like this where there's limited inventory, people. Uh, first time flippers, people that want to fix up their, people that want to fix up their, uh, their pretty much their, their first home, then, then uh, they're, they're pretty much okay with buying a property that's not in tip top shape. They're okay with making improvements as they live in it. So, you know, that, that's, that's the kind of thing I like looking for. Everybody has a cup of tea, um, but the real value that you're you're pretty much providing the market is being able to spot these deals you know you gotta know the markets in your i mean you gotta know the uh the uh, price points in your marketplace you gotta know what stuff is really valued at and you gotta just pretty much have an eye for it so i've um, been doing this for five years at this point and you know it's a skill set that can pay me forever and ever and um it's something that I find pretty easy to do. And I'm looking around right now. I see, I've, I, real talk, man, I have not done driving for dollars in a minute, but there's a bunch of properties on this street that, you know, people can easily, easily, easily pick up on if uh, they take the time to do that. So I haven't done it in a little bit, so I'm not even gonna front. Bam, park it like that. Bam, all right, so let's see how, let's see how this baby looks. All right, so here we go. That's what we got here. All right. So, got a nice walk-in. Obviously, they didn't care too much about the painting, but overall, pretty solid, solid hardwood. Um, old drapes. Got a nice little fireplace here. I mess with that. Uh, and as you can see, man, just a bunch of stuff that's been left behind. Let's see what's right here. It's a bunch of paper. Typically, whenever you're buying houses, you're always gonna have 
There's a bunch of stuff that's left over. Nice kitchen. It's a little place for washer. It's outdated, man, you know, with the, the old wallpaper, white appliances. Older cabinets. Oh, look, we got a bird. Who wants a bird cage? Anybody want a bird cage? Let me know. I got you. Um, overall, I mean, not bad. You know, not bad. Do got some some ceiling damage here. Gonna have to check and see what that looks like upstairs. Hopefully, it's been taken care of. If not, that could be an issue. Got a nice. Main floor bathroom, you know what I mean? Half bath. You know? So not bad, man. We got a fridge right here, you know? And we got some more fridges right here. A nice little alleyway to the outside. Got a little uh, garage there with a little uh, little shed, you know. So, so stuff like this. I mean, this this could uh, this could easily um, stay as is um, for. A rental property for somebody you know definitely gonna need some more before you run it back out you know before you start advertising and telling people you want them to come live in your crib but definitely definitely something that is adorable and honestly you know if I if I wasn't so you know steadfast on you know commercial I would take this I would just hold this for myself. You know what I mean? And, uh, and I don't even know if you can yeah, you can count this. This is a small ass bedroom. God bless. Look at that. Yeah, I'd keep this for myself. You know what I mean? And uh, get the work done and then refi. That's what that, that is exactly what this would be nice for. Either a single family um, or a duplex because it's zoned as a duplex. I need to go back and look and see where they took the wall down. But keep it like that, rehab it, and then refinance it. You know what I mean? So got this old school bathtub. Let's see where the water is. What we're having is if it's even a thing anymore. You know what I mean? So. Bathtub for real. I mean, <laughs> no water standing there. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. So, yeah, this is obviously a clean. Okay, so here we go. So, that's a back porch, or was a back porch. I ain't kicking all this shit around. Yeah, well, I mean, free yard sale. I'm sure there's some stuff in here. That's a valuable may sell it with this bed set right here. You know what I mean? And I'll never do that. You know, for me, I've got a gun safe in here. So, got the shelves here. You know what I'm saying? Just in case anybody steps, anybody over steps, you know what I mean? window unit in here let's see what we got here okay okay not too much in the cars anybody let me know what this is you know what I mean not too much in the cars but quick walk through you know what I mean there's me right there quick walk through in and out just kind of seeing what we got not bad not bad not bad got one more deal um 
that I'm waiting on closing on the 26th of this month. On the 26th of this month. And just close on another one that sold really, really quick. And then I definitely want to walk you guys through a couple of the commercial ones that are local here but if those don't work out locally it's all good because at the end of the day i'm not as an investor you never want to be desperate i'm not going to overpay for shit especially right now you know what i mean real easy to get caught with your pants down in real estate think you're doing something um think you're doing something when you're just buying the piece no you make money when you buy what i mean by that is you want to make sure that you're buying these uh minimum 65 cents on a dollar you know what i mean and it might seem like whoever you're buying it from is getting a bad deal no that's why you deal with motivated sellers these people have a reason to sell it for that price whether that be it wasn't their uh their property initially and it was inherited whether that be it was a property that didn't pan out the way they wanted it to. There's so many reasons why people have to sell. And if you don't, you don't know that, please look into, you know, my older content. I go over that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? What a motivated seller is, reasons why people are motivated to sell and that kind of thing. And even now, if the deal makes sense to buy from wholesalers, because at the end of the day, you know, if, they're providing value and you're able to buy it at a certain price point you know and the numbers still make sense on all ends i'm good with that you know what i mean so or just partner you know with people and uh be the be, be the be the cash guy because you're able to get that much more off the mls right now and i don't see why more people would be doing that so that's all i got for this video real quick in and out as you can see checking out a property that um, that was purchased on auction.com wasn't a bad experience at all one thing one critique I would have from auction.com would be um, to find a way to get everything that is done at the circuit court level or the county court level done online personally there's somebody there, there's been about four or five auctions that I would have loved to have been a part of that I didn't I just don't like going to the courthouse you know what i mean i don't like going to the courthouse i don't like the process personally can't say that i've been to one locally but um th th these deals are getting good enough to where i'm gonna start going to them locally but definitely 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 if they can find a way to get them to um you know start putting those properties out there on the on the app as well that would be very very helpful the people that don't always have the time to go out to the to the courthouse like literally i bought this house two weeks ago it's my first time even stepping foot in it <laughs> so that just tells you you know what what type of time i'm on in terms of not being able to even get out to the property but if you know what the value is if you know what the resale can be then why not take advantage of it you know what i mean so that's pretty much all i got for this one uh, let me know if you've ever bought a property from auction or auction.com. I'm even looking at properties on zoom.com, X-O-M-E, I believe it is, .com. Um, and um, I'm just always looking at different properties, bidding on them. And I know I said I wasn't going to do single family anymore, but if it's if, it, if it's passive, if I'm not really putting too much effort into it um, in terms of, you know, continuously following up with the seller and trying to, you know, do that song and dance. And there's a time and place for that, for real. There is a time and place for that. But I think um, um, in my career, if I'm not partnering with somebody um, that's able to take on that workload, if I'm not, um, you know, uh, or hiring somebody to do that part of it, you know, at, at a small level, not like 15, 60 people, you know what I'm saying, in the office, virtually even, then I, I would be, I'd be cool with doing that. But um, I'm definitely cool with just buying stuff at auction at this point. All right, guys. 
right, I will talk to you in the next video. I'll let you know how the whole process with this goes. You know what my projections are for this. And, you know, I could be 100% wrong. Could make 5,000 on it, you know what I mean? Could make, could make, you know, could break even on it. But, you know, just, just with my projections, you know what I'm saying, I, I, know, I know it's gonna happen. All right, talk to y'all in the next video. Peace.